Hello everyone, welcome to Stratus Tech channel. Today we're gonna to see a sequential function chart and how to use it in our CMN style portal. So first of all, I'm gonna start with uh, creating new project as I'm gonna name it Surter Tech like uh, tree. We are in third tutorial. So I'm gonna just use some basic uh, sequential like uh, function chart as with its function with its uh, basic instructions. So I'm gonna configure a device as I always use this one, this 314. I'm gonna wait a little bit. So here I have my PLC and my addresses here and all that the thing I spoke about in the first tutorial. So first of all, we're gonna see what's a sequential function chart and it's simple like uh, instruction and things we can do with it. So to begin, we're gonna talk a little bit about the sequential function chart. So here I'm visiting the website technologpro.com and I'm using this uh, French uh, course. So just to explain it uh, a little bit. So this is a sequential function chart. We have like uh, like steps and transitions. Those are the steps. As here we have the step number zero and there is no action here. Then we have a transition. Then we have step number two with uh, like this uh, for this action here 14 m1 we're gonna see we're gonna use our uh, our uh, like personal uh, functions we're gonna use in the in this tutorial and here the graph set should turn back to uh, first step the initial step again so here we have like when we start our graph set uh, sorry not gra graph set it's in French I don't know if it's called graph set in English too but uh, I looked for it and it's called sequential function chart so the first step is activated and there is nothing here so the system stays here until the, the like the x6 is true when the transition x6 is verified and the zero is active we're gonna pass to the next step which is step one step one we're gonna like uh, do this action this action is to activate this uh, 14 m1 then we're gonna, if it's active, we're gonna wait until the L11 is true. Then we're gonna pass the other, to the other uh, action and the other step and see their action, what is it. And we continue like this, then we came back again to the start. Here I have another uh, example of a sequential function chart. This is a simple one as we saw before just steps and simple transition we pass from step to another when the transition is verified and step before it's active uh, that's for sure and here i have another one which is a little bit uh, complex we have like i don't know if they are called divergence or um, divergence and then convergence and uh, convergence or so those are named like in french so we're gonna see into your portal if they are the same uh, nomination so here we pass like if you are in the step number zero we pass to the if the one of the steps is uh, is verified we pass to it then to another one to another one then to if uh, if it's verified we're gonna we could pass for like from here to this step or if uh, like if you have like this and uh, divergence we should like wait until it's synchronized then we could pass to this uh, other step we're gonna see like this in our future uh, tutorial, but for now we're gonna just say with simple things. Uh, just to remember, I took this from the technologpro.com, which is a French course. Back uh, to our uh, Taya portal. So as I said, we're gonna just do some uh, simple things. I'm gonna in this project do uh, like a traffic light, simple traffic light, one traffic light, and then we talk. To zoom to this I hope you see it is all right if uh, something is wrong please tell me so to add like a new sequence of uh, function chart we're gonna pass to program block and here we add a new block 
So in new block, we we'll use choose a function block. Then we we'll choose which language we're gonna use. So as I said, this, we're gonna use this uh, graph uh, language. I don't know if it's sent for graph set or sequential uh, function chart. So okay, select this. So here it is our uh, sequence. Our sequence. So we have like uh, first uh, it gives up a step with a transition, and we could fill this with whatever we want. So here for some simple things we can do, we have like uh, add a step and transition, or step along transition along, or we have like a jump. We jump from uh, here to another step or to. Uh, first step and here we can open like alternate it's called alternative branch symmetry branch not convergence divergence uh, or and I'm sorry just uh, wrong translation so here is it we can now start our uh, uh, like uh, traffic light uh, project just a little project or uh, wait until I zoom a little bit so here's my sequence. I'm gonna first uh, name it like uh, traffic light. Traffic light one. You can leave a comment here if you want or something. So as you can see, we have this uh, error sign. So because we don't have a return here, and this is like a uh, logic to return from one step to same step. If, I don't know, I've never tried it. <laughs> so we're gonna start like our little project. First, when we double click here, we can see what it shows us. So we have like qualifier, which are the types of, uh, act of action I wanna use. Like if I want, I mostly use this set as long as step is active. Like if we want uh, to active a motor, it stays active as long as step here is green, uh, is active. But if the step is active and the transition is verified, we pass to another step. Then the step here will be off and the motor will shudder. Then we have this set, set to one. So for set and the reset, you know what you can do, like set to zero. They stay permanently to one or to zero until you activate them or disactivate them again. So those are the most I use. We can see what uh, is suitable for your project. Okay, so we can now return and here in the transition, we can use like a simple letter language, which is like uh, we saw before, normally open contact or uh, uh, close contact, or we can use counters for time or counters for uh, like, uh, here we're gonna use equal like uh, comparing two values or uh, comparing a value to like uh, a number or something then to pass to another step we're gonna sure see all this in a some our in our future uh, projects so first of all as i said i'm gonna use uh, we're gonna see a traffic light so as i said first step is the red then we're gonna pass the green then we're gonna pass the orange and we're gonna do them with the two different uh, methods so here I click in this uh, arrow and then press the step and transition to add a step pattern. If I want just add one, one or open a branch, I can press what I could do. And sure, you cannot uh, do transition after a transition or a step after a step. It step always should be followed by a transition. I'm gonna add another one. So here, but if I leave my uh, chart my sequence like here it's an error always an error i should always jump this uh, step uh, this uh, sorry this transition after that should be uh, back to another step or like from a from a step to another transition so here i'm gonna jump it to like step one and as you are see the error symbol is gone so here to set our rights, we're gonna double click here. Then we're gonna choose like to uh, activate as long as step is active, and we're gonna choose one of our uh, tags. 
or we just create tags I'm gonna use the memory bytes so I'm gonna write use m1.0 then leave it, leave it here then here I'm gonna add like how to pass to, to condition to pass to to green I'm gonna just wait like uh, act, uh, time just time condition like wait and wait for uh, here they are uh, 100 millisecond I'm gonna like use uh, maybe three seconds I'm gonna just write three s here and here so here what happens the 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 action stay activated until here the time pass three seconds so here when uh, when we pass like uh, here is activated it wait and three seconds until to pass and the other step it's simple use of the timer here it's uh, important to use it in projects so we're gonna pass the step number two step number two we're gonna uh, set it as long as uh, step is active so here we're gonna choose like m 1.1 did I use three form? I use 1.0 of 1.1. Then wait. If you want, I'm gonna add like four seconds. Just write four seconds here, and they're gonna take care of it. And here we're gonna pass the orange. I'm gonna set n2 m.2. Then four times two. I'm gonna I'm gonna use like two seconds. So here we double click then here and we have our sequence is complete. If you like if you have a lot of tags and you don't you can't remember which one is which we're gonna pass to here. I'm gonna like uh, PLC tags and I'm gonna show all tags. Then we could name it. First, we use like the re the red one. We're gonna name it red. Then we use green. Then I use like orange. Here everything is okay. Here we're gonna return to the main block. So main block here where you can activate all the things you want, and we must like drag this block one here and we press ok so here I have my block to know a lot about these parameters and this uh, configuration you should uh, press F1 to use what uh, what what suits you the right so for now we will keep uh, things simple I just added like uh, for initialization I added like M0.0 .0. that's the one I use I will use for now and gonna press gonna use like a save project compile it if you want so we don't have any error in our uh, sequence so I should, I should actually add my MPI here MPI address I should add a, a network so it can connect to the PLC sim project saved I can charge it in the load device Oh no, I should have used the simulator. Should have launched the simulator. Sorry. Wait a little bit. I'm gonna press here. Charge our program. Load our program here. Load. Sorry, sometimes uh, sorry for my English. It's not too good. Sometimes I speak French. 
so here uh, our uh, program is here I use um, the, the memory byte uh, one so I'm gonna check it here and stop this so here we're gonna see what our in memory byte are activated I'm gonna press run so we have zero one two those are the same things we just use in our block we use pass like from m1.0 which is here then the m1.1 and then the m1.2 and here we can see how our sequence is uh, making progress how it's functioning uh, you can uh, you just go to the block to return to the block here if you want to open the block just double click here and you have either you press double click here or then from the bottom I press here So this is it and you press like the monitoring and I'm gonna start again my here we can see steps how they are moving which is active and not when we're gonna use our human machine interface we're gonna see these things clearly a little bit better You can another uh, sorry. You can add another uh, chart if you want. Just you, uh, you click here, uh, right click here, and then you insert sequence, and then you have another sequence here. You can have them both functioning in uh, the same time. You can start initial step here.